Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential problem? Solution from what we have here. When we follow the law of indices, from when we have a over b raised to power n, here we can write this as b over a raised to power minus n. That is minus here serving as the reciprocal here. Then let's rewrite this now as 3 over 5 raised to power minus x. Then what we have becomes 3 over 5 raised to power x. Then minus here we have 3 over 5 raised to power minus x. Then equals to 2 from here. Then also from here, we can equally write this as 1 over b over a raised to power n. The power of minus a serving as 1 over then here, it implies we can write this as 3 over 5 raised to power x minus 1 over 3 over 5 raised to power x then equals to 2 from here then we have 3 over 5 raised to power x common let's use a letter to represent that so let m be equals to 3 over 5 raised to power x then this equation here becomes m minus 1 over m equals to 2 from here that is here we have m as the SCM. we can clear this fraction and multiply through by m then here we have m times m that's m square then minus here remain 1 then equals to here we have 2m that is, from here, we take 2m to this side and rearrange to form a quadratic equation. So we have m square minus 2m minus 1 equals to 0 from here. Then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 2, and c equals to minus 1. Then from the formula here, whereby m equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, then we have m equals to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 then over 2 times 1 then when we solve this further m equals to here minus times minus is plus we have 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square that's 4 and minus times minus that's plus so we have plus 4 here over 2 here that is here we have m equals to 2 plus or minus root 8 here over 2 which also we can write as m equals to 2 plus or minus root 4 times 2 here then over 2 and we can separate this as root 4 times root 2 which implies we have m equals to 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 here then over 2 that is here 2 is common then we have m equals to 2 into bracket 1 plus or minus root 2 then over 2 here 
and here two cancel each other then we have m equals to one plus or minus root two that is we have two values of m here the first we have m equals to one plus root two and the second one we have m equals to one minus root two then from here we can recall that we represented m as 3 over 5 or raised to power x then which means here we equate this to what we have so 3 over 5 raised to power x then equals to 1 plus root 2 from here then then on this side as well we have 3 over 5 raised to power x equals to 1 minus root 2 then when we look at what we have here this side will be positive and what we have here also is positive then here this side is positive and here will be negative which implies that there is no real solution here so no real solution on this side so we reject that side then from here to solve this let's take the log on both sides so we have log into bracket 3 over 5 raised to power x equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 2 here then from the power law of logarithm from log m raised to power p equals to p log m then here the power is x what we have then becomes x log into bracket 3 over 5 then equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 2 a then we divide both sides by log 3 over 5 here then also here by log 3 over 5 that is here log 3 over 5 cancel each other and we have x equals to here we have log into bracket 1 plus root 2 over log 3 over 5 then we can rewrite the answer using change of base from when we have log a over log b and this can be written as log a to base b then what we have now becomes x equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 2 then to base 3 over 5 so here we have the solution to this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and see you in our next class bye for now